Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 29th of 2021. Well, it is titled orbits of potentially hazardous asteroids. So what do we see here? Well, this is a model of our inner solar system showing the orbits of the four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, as well as part of the orbit out towards the corners there of Jupiter. And the other orbits in between which are not labeled are the orbits of 1000 potentially hazardous asteroids. So these are things that are at least 140 meters across. So the size of a football field is about 100 yards 100 meters. So you're looking something about that size. And these are ones that have orbits that will pass within seven and a half million kilometers of Earth. Now that may not seem I think like a long distance. But that's about 20 times the distance to the moon. And of course, orbits cannot be precisely determined because there are so many variables, especially with these asteroids, because they are a small mass. And if they pass close to one of the planets, their orbits can be easily deviated. These are the ones that be, could be considered a potentially hazardous to the Earth. Now something 140 meters in size would not destroy life on Earth and would not be an extinction level event as that the one that destroyed the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. But they are uh, but they are ones that could cause significant damage to the areas where they hit. They could also and, and surrounding they could also cause significant damage if they land in the ocean creating great tidal waves and tsunamis that could devastate coastal areas. So these are the kind of ones that we have to watch out for. Now based on calculations there's none of them here that would likely hit Earth within the next hundred years or so. But also we don't know all of them. We do not know the orbits of all these objects and it's hard to track them because many of them are very dark and small something 140 meters across is not all that large and trying to look at it over many millions and tens of millions and hundreds of millions of miles away is very difficult makes it almost impossible to track all of these and to find them. So these are a thousand or so that are potentially dangerous ones that we do track. Now, of course, they will some of them will hit us eventually, but it may take thousands or millions of years because it's just a matter of luck when they happen to hit the hit Earth exactly right. They have to line up just right to be able to hit Earth. And of course, there are much larger ones. Some of these are very larger than the 140 meters. That's the minimum size we're looking at here. Uh, some of the much larger ones are ones that could cause extinction level events. When we start talking about things that are a kilometer in size uh, or more, those are ones that could cause significant damage to Earth and could cause massive extinctions, wiping out lots of different uh, lots of the different species that exist on Earth and in fact impacts in the past there have been great extinction events that have wiped out 50 75 or even 90 percent of the species that existed on Earth at the time. Uh, fortunately life is very resilient and has always come back but it is something that it is extinction level events or things that have occurred in the past and that will occur in the future. Not likely within the next hundred years, but of course there are objects we don't know about. But at some point the extinction level events will occur again because there still is so much debris within our solar system. And at, uh, over time those will all be swept up by the various planets as they orbit through. So that was our picture of the day for August the 29th of 2021. It was titled Orbits of Potentially Hazardous Asteroids. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Ice Sky Fire. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.